Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. And welcome to the Weird Science Comics channel here. And I'm going to be going through the big event over at Marvel Empire, Empire number three, to be specific. This is an issue with a story by Al Ewing and Dan Slott, script by Al Ewing, and art by Valerio Scheide. And if you have watched my videos for the first two books in this event, you will know that I haven't really been that hyped up on it. I need something to grab me. I ended up saying that, first off, a Kotati story versus the Kree and the Scroll, eh, it's not my cup of tea. But I also thought that having the big reveal, big twist of the first issue being, okay, the Kree and the Scroll aren't the bad guys and gals. It is the Kotati ended up making the second issue kind of feel like another first issue. You had to give a lot of background with the Kotati, things like that. And I'm looking for this whole thing to get started, get me fired up, make me want to read this main title and all the tie-ins. We'll see if this does that. And I will tell you first, though, that this is my favorite issue of the event so far. Well, we start off by showing that indeed the Kotati are attacking Earth. They look so pretty, don't they? Look at them. They're all colorful and stuff. But you also end up having humans running away. I would too. I don't want plant people attacking me. You see some of the Kree scroll things. And so there's a big battle. The battle is going on. We've seen this more in the tie-ins up till now. But at least it's referencing that we see how things are going. We go off, though, to Avengers Mountain to see what Tony Stark is up to. He ends up, he's trying to figure out a way to stop all this, obviously. He feels guilty because him, Cap, and Thor were the ones that got duped by the Kotati and pretty much allowed all this nonsense to happen. So when he ends up saying, it's my fault, he's tr- it's true. I mean, I'm not going to say, no, it's not there. Tony, it is, but let's get something going. You do end up, though, seeing Cap is out fighting. We know this. And Thor is off on a mythical quest that we have to find out exactly what that is. That's kind of a little bit of a seed of a story I hope that we get to soon. Well, Reed shows up to say, hey, Mopey Tony, what's going on? Why are you moping around? Tony, "Eh, it was my fault. I ended up getting duped. Well, Reed... Rightly so, again, says, no, 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 I was duped too. And it's true because where Reed thought that the Kree, Scroll, and Hulkling were bad, Tony thought the Kotati were good. So both were wrong, both were bad, and it ended up where they are. Reed kind of is there to say, well, we got to move on. We got to stop this. We can't mope around. But then He mentions the deal about, you know, I feel bad for Tony. He doesn't have family like I do. This issue is very big on family. It's a very big family issue as we go forward. Well, we see part of Reed's quote-unquote family with Thing in Wakanda hanging out with Shuri. You also have Okoye, Fat Cobra, Gorilla Man. You got Ghost Rider. And I like seeing these characters all there To give you the idea, okay, this is getting the scope. It's getting bigger. you got a bunch of characters there. And I've gone on record. I love Shuri. I think Shuri's a gem. I like Thing. So you have Shuri and Thing there. Now I want a team-up book. And I want Shuri to head off to Yancey Street and show those Yancey Street kids what's what. But they end up talking a little. It's a nice little banner. And as this is going on, the Kotati are trying to get through the Wakandian barrier. And they do. They end up breaking through, which then, of course, that means clobbering time. And it looks great. You end up having Wasp there in the top. So you're getting more and more characters. I need that. I need more of the scope. I need to see that it is a worldwide event, which it is, and that everybody all hands on deck. So I do like seeing that. Well... We go to Qua and Swordsman, and Qua's kind of like, hey, Daddy, what's going on? I thought that these troops were great. We're, we're going into Wakanda. We're trying to, I mean, we're kicking butt everywhere else. Why aren't these guys doing this? Hey, listen, it's a test. It's a test. We're kind of doing this. We're getting it in. And we do get the reveal. Another reason why I really like this issue, we get the reveal of what they are up to. Why? And I've had people say, like, the Kotati, they're on the moon. 
all right, they end up getting rid of a lot of the Korean scroll armada. But why did they go to Earth? Why did they just go and attack Earth? What did we do? We're just meat bags to them. But we find out what the big thing is. They're after the Vibranium Mound. They're trying to get into Wakanda. Now, She-Hulk is there almost like the reader, like, the, the Vibranium Mound, they don't like the metal. They don't like the heavy metals, right? They, they like the rock, not the heavy. They don't like the rock either. But you end up where, okay, and it makes complete sense, again, where things are coming into place. Pieces of the puzzle are coming together where you end up having T'Challa, he's figured things out and says it's not just the, it's not the metal it's the mound it's the vibranium enriched soil it says look at what they did by planting stuff in just moon dust in moon dirt they were able to destroy an armada and invade earth just from that can you imagine what would happen if they could get a hold of the vibranium enriched soil they will destroy the universe this is the big big reveal and i liked it a lot it makes sense it it really is cool well while that's going on they are getting a visitor wakanda is having a visit it's manis and if you don't know manis is kwa's mother she shows up and says hey what up i'm here to save my son like save your son and and they start yelling at her no no we're not going to save him he's already beyond that point we are going to destroy him and she says, well, I'm his mom, so I really don't want that happening. Plus, it's mostly his dad's fault. And, and I'm a father of five boys. I hear this all the time. My kids can get into whatever trouble they get into. It's always me. It's always my fault. But if they do something great, there's my wife. Yep, look what I did. You know, this is what happens. It even happens in the comics. But we know Swordsman is a piece of crap. So I hope that I'm not. But you have that where... She says, well, listen, you know, Kwa is going to have to answer to his crimes. This is not me saving him saying he's getting off scot-free. No, he's going to answer for those. But please realize that it's his father, you know, whispering in his ear, telling him bad things and telling him what to do. So she is there. That's another cool reveal. That is really cool in my mind. We go off to see what Hulkling is doing with Super Scroll, Tannel, Captain Marvel, you know, and Johnny Storm. They're all there. And they end up where they last issued, they were able to, you know, get rid of the Kotani, you know, infection that was on the command ship that they're on now. So now they're trying to figure out, okay, well, we did that. What can we do next? I mean, we have to do something big. And Super Scroll. People love him. He's not very imaginative. What he says is, listen, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, but bigger. That's uh, We're going to stab Carol again with the the star sword, the Excelsior sword. And but we're going to crank it up to 11. We're going to spinal tap this and we're going to crank it to 11. And then we're going to really kick butt. And now they're going to do it as Morgan, the mystic. She can influence she can end up getting the sword to you know up the ante she can crank it to 11 right there so she says she'll do that we'll do it. johnny says well wait a second carol died the first time when it was just you know cranked to maybe seven and we can't crank it to 11 if we crank it to 11 there's no way she's going to live but they end up, well, we don't know. we're all out of ideas. We came up with one idea, and we're all out of ideas now. I don't know what you want us to do, Johnny Storm. And he says, well, I, I don't want you to kill Carol. I'll give Carol credit. She's like, eh, whatever. I keep sacrificing myself. What, what, what is this? Why is it any different? And I do laugh because a lot of people are already complaining about this Empire deal of, oh, here we go again. You have to get Captain Marvel to be the biggest hero of all. Well, it seems like this will push that to the side a bit because the plan is not going to happen because Teddy, well, first I'll say I think this is a bit of a big moment, a subtle big moment, where you end up having T'Challa call Teddy, you know, on his space cell. And his celly, it's blowing up here. And he's like, hey, Emperor Doric the Eighth, is that you? And he's like, call me Teddy. And I think that's a big moment to let us know he has not gone full into this idea of, look at me, I'm an emperor, I'm going. Now, in the meantime, that's kind of helped by the Kree and the scroll looking at him as nonsense and a figurehead and not a real leader, which 
He doesn't know how to run an empire. Seriously. What is he, Darth Vader? No. Even Darth Vader has the emperor, right? So you have him there. Uh, What's that? Yeah, you're on speakerphone there, T'Challa. All right, yeah. uh, Can I borrow that sword of yours? I got a plan. And Teddy says, is this plan involve killing an Avenger? T'Challa's like, no, it doesn't involve killing an Avenger. And Teddy says, okay, and sends the sword off to Black Panther. Now, he hangs up the phone. I wish that we saw that he's like, no, 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 it's killing an X-Men. Or it's killing part of the Fantastic Four. It's just, I, I just, no Avenger, but yeah, there's some other people that might die. Well, that'd be funny, but it doesn't happen. He sends it off. Everybody freaks out. Super Scroll freaks out. You've done it. You ruined everything. Here we go. Tannel says, well, if we're getting into the things and who did what and pointing fingers, you know, hey there, Super Scroll, why don't you tell Emperor Doric the Eighth? Why don't you tell him what this pyre is that you mentioned last issue and the things that are being thrown about? Tell him what exactly that is. And he's like, oh, well, first off, he says, how the hell do you know about that? Like, you shouldn't know about that. You're a Cree, aren't you? I mean, you're not a super scroll like me that's undercut. He ends up telling Teddy, hey, uh, this is what we did. There's this, you know, we had a solar system there. We were kind of doing things, trying to figure stuff out. We had a super, uh, I keep saying super scroll. We had a scroll planet that was kind of mimicking earth to kind of have some fun it's like the cosplay planet we had going on there and uh yeah the kotani kind of invaded that and started causing trouble so what we ended up doing was we did the pyre which is destroy the sun of the sun destroy the whole solar system everybody dead now in the meantime also the super scroll says yeah and we, we kind of were a little late too so it really didn't matter it didn't do anything because if we were a little earlier we would have stopped all this nonsense we wouldn't have this whole empire deal going but you know we ended up purging everything everything burned and they all died and they end up like oh my god like you killed a billion people he's like hey listen I, you, you know me uh, I'm a bad butt, but we killed a billion people to save a trillion. We'll do that again. We'll do it every time. Uh, hinting like, wink, wink, we're going to do it now. We should do it now. Let's get going. But I like the way he explains it here. And it also will go in my mind where Teddy, he does not think like a Cree or a scroll. He's a hybrid, but he was raised on Earth. He has a lot of friends on Earth. He has what he considers his family. And so when you have the cold-blooded calculation of Super Scroll who says, number one, you say we killed civilians. No, no, no. There are no civilians to Kree and Scroll. A civilian is just somebody waiting to become a warrior. It's like, you know, a stranger is just someone you haven't met. A Kree and Scroll civilian is just a warrior who doesn't have the armor on yet. So he says they, they died for their deal. They don't mind. They died for the Empire. They die again. So don't give me your nonsense. But it does again, it ups the ante. It really puts things in perspective. You see what this pyre is now. You see how Super Scroll thinks that he will want to do. He is an advisor to Teddy. So the other advisor though, Tano, she walks away she kind of is like yeah you know everything's cool you know we're gonna have to figure this out i think that this pyre deal whatever she walks away and she's followed by captain glory and captain glory says listen you know everything that you're saying and knowing it's not jiving with me i don't think that you're who you say you are and it's bothering me because i kind of do scans you look 100 percent cree You're a scroll, and I know it. I know you're a scroll. One of the big things he says is, you before said that Ronan the Accuser was a hero. He did not die a hero. He died a traitor to the Kree. You aren't a Kree. You're a scroll. And uh, the funny thing is, it's played up, and you're expecting, because of everything before, you're expecting this to be, Tanulf says, ha ha, you're right, and kill Captain Glory. Well, there's no reason to, because they are together they are a empire now together they have formed a bond so it's not exactly like the Korean scroll are enemies it's just captain glory's like what up he wants to know what's going on and then maybe try to assess the situation but we find out that it is our kill the empress of the script this is really big i mean this isn't just like hey look at me i'm just a normal average scroll that worked their way up and became a creed this is a huge 
huge scrawl who also says to Captain Glory, well, look at what I've done. You can yell and scream all you want and you can, you know, reveal my big secret, but I've made the Kree better. I've made them stronger and you know that. And he has to admit that's true. Now, through all of this, I have not been that excited about Tanoff. I thought that she was a boring character and now I see she's kind of hiding in the shadows a bit and not really getting out involved because you want this big reveal here that she's our kill empress of the scrolls and it says here but if you didn't know she is teddy's grandmother she ended up surviving the attack by galactus when galactus destroyed the scroll homeworld and she is the grandmother of doric the eighth the king of space and she is going to show him how to lead she's going to make him the greatest emperor of all time and you do end up ending with captain glory like well you know Kind of seems to think a little too much like a human, this Teddy of yours. And she says, yeah, we're, we're going to have to get rid of that. We're going to have to do something about that. But yeah, I liked it. There's a lot of big moments here. And there are a lot of big moments that aren't just wow moments. They're wow moments that end up being story wow moments. They make sense. They make everything kind of fall into place to go forward. That's what I wanted. That's what I appreciate. So with all that and good art, I still think that this is still setting up things, though. We're in the middle of the main book. Issue number three of six, we're still setting things up, which I know that's what happens. But a lot of people standing around, a lot of people talking about what they want to do, a lot of people hinting at what they're going to do. So I gave it a seven five. I could be convinced to go to an eight. I really could. The more I read this, this is the fifth or sixth time I've talked about this on different things. So each time I I tend to like, "Eh, I kind of like it a little more. So if you want to pretend I said eight, you can. And I did say seven five, but you, you can pretend. You can pretend I said eight. But thanks everybody for watching this. I hope that this upward thing with this empire goes on because I want to get involved in the big deal. And let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you think about Empire, how you're dealing with it, if you're reading all of the tie-ins as well, all that. And also, if you like this, please like it below. Also, subscribe to the channel. That'd be awesome. Look at the links below as well to our podcasts and websites where we go into some more detail about some things as well. So thanks everybody. And I'll talk to you later.